Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about the uh, the first house of the, someone's natal chart, anyone's natal chart. This is not my natal chart, this is just a chart. I put Aries in the first house because that's where it belongs. So even if you don't have any planets in the first house, um, you still have a very you know, important first house, even if there's no planets there because you would look to the ruling sign. So if Aries, let's just say Aries is there, okay, you would look to Mars, wherever Mars is, okay? So... The first house is important because all the planets are hitting, all the houses and planets are, are looking or hitting the house or angling the house in a certain direction, giving it its, its appeal, its, its uh, energy. And so, for instance, I was born with the moon. All right? I had the moon trine my first house. Um, so my parents, they were ready for my reception into the world. Okay, they were ready for that. They had uh, financially and domestically, they were ready, and also they were ready because my sister. They were used. They had my sister as experience. Um, so, when it comes to the first house, we are expressing our individuality. It's ultimately uh, a cardinal fire masculine sign. It rules individuality. It's um, it shows circumstances surrounding our birth. So, for instance, I have Black Moon Lilith, let's say, at a quincunx, ang at a quincunx angle, hitting my, um, my ascendant. So I was choking around my umbilical cord. Let's say someone has Pluto or Black Moon Lilith on their ascendant or by their first house, right? This is going to be a very harsh circumstances coming into this world. The birth might have been, you might have lost your mother at birth. She might have bled out, or there could have been many complications. The first house is, shows your embodiment into this world because the 12th house is kind of like the disembodiment. All water houses are kind of disembodiment. Right. But the 12th house is where all the zodiac signs come to die. And then the first house is where they all get rebirthed again. And, yeah, so again, the first house has to do with how the world sees you, the facade, the the personality. You know, you can yeah, everyone has a lot deeper um, energy to them than just the first house. But the first house usually, or the energy around the first house, or the ruling planet of the first house, is how other people see us. And again, you want to check out your first house because it is an embodiment of all the signs just in a premature way of expression. A premature, there's a certain premature expression because again, the first house is the very beginning of this sine wave. And um, let's see, it has your mannerisms, your style, your disposition, right? Your temperament, your likes, your dislikes. It really is a, a big part of your personality and the beginning of your perspective into this world.